What's the most important economic grouping in the world? Would you say the G20? A group of 19 countries and the European Union. It represents almost all major economies in the world. But does it represent changing world realities? What about the G7? It's an old rich nations club representing the global north. But no India, no China, no Russia. So can it really be called important in today's global landscape? Then we have BRICS. A group that represents over a quarter of the world's GDP, more than 40% of the world's population. Its members are Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. Now more countries want to join. Egypt has formally applied. Others from Asia, Africa and Latin America are also in the queue. But now there's been a surprising knock on the BRICS door. France. President Emmanuel Macron wants a slice of the action. He wants an invite to the upcoming BRICS summit in South Africa in August. Here's why. Does France want to join BRICS? Is Paris sending its love to the Organization of Developing Nations? Is this a sign that BRICS is entering the big leagues? While it's possible, it's still too soon to be sure. Here's what we know for certain. Yesterday, French media reported that Emmanuel Macron had a request. He wanted South African President Cyril Ramaphosa to invite him to the upcoming BRICS summit. The 15th annual BRICS summit is taking place between the 22nd and 24th of August. It's being held in the South African city of Johannesburg. Leaders from the five BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, will be present. We're talking about presidents and prime ministers. Along with these five nations, there will be other guests, the friends of BRICS as they're called. Bangladesh, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Indonesia have all been invited, as have some other nations. Many are hopeful about becoming members. Reports say some 14 countries have applied to join the grouping. The latest application is from Egypt, and some Egyptian corporations are excited by the prospect. It's absolutely one of the main assets uh, that, that we can take advantage of by, by joining BRICS and by joining the new development bank. We need to facilitate our trade, whether in import and export. And one of the things that hinders this supply chain and this process is the availability of foreign currency. Egypt may have a leg up on the competition when it comes to joining BRICS. You see, the BRICS nations have a bank the new development bank headquartered in Shanghai. There are four non-BRICS members, Bangladesh, Egypt, the UAE and Uruguay. Bangladesh expects to be given membership in August. Egypt will be hoping for it too. It will mark a new phase in BRICS. So far, the group has only allowed one country to join after its formation, South Africa, which joined in 2011. BRICS doesn't really have a proper mechanism to induct new members, but they're working on it looking at institutional development of BRICS or uh, expansion, uh, we uh, have concluded that we haven't as yet uh, got what we believe is a useful uh, document uh, that we could place before uh, the heads of state. So more work will need to be done on this matter. Uh, it is still uh, to be processed. And once uh, we have a document that we believe offers clear uh, guidance, we will then take that to the summit uh, in August. And the group does seem keen to expand, especially in light of the war in Ukraine and the resultant sanctions on Russia. BRICS member countries want to get together and find a common currency they can trade in, find a way to bypass the US dollar. That's part of what's fueling the expansion. Another reason is the need for economic development. While the West is focusing on the war, the eradication of poverty seems to have been left by the wayside. I believe the enlargement of the BRICS will be beneficial to the BRICS countries, beneficial to developing countries, and to increase the representation influence of this mechanism and also to uh, garner a bigger uh, power of the BRICS to serve the interests of developed countries and emerging market economies, as well as the international uh, development cause. China is definitely pushing for the expansion of BRICS. It's another way that Beijing can increase its global footprint, another forum where China can help steer the agenda. Which brings us back to France. Macron went to China in April. He wanted Europe to follow a course independent of the US. 
He wanted to maintain good relations with Beijing, especially when it came to trade. Is the BRICS summit just another platform for Macron to peddle his politics? Or is it something even more underhanded? Russia has asked France to explain Macron's invite. Moscow asked if it's some sort of a Trojan horse move. While we wait for the reply from Paris, one thing is certain. BRICS is increasingly becoming a crucial platform on the world stage.